Hey, what's good, heavy hitters? I just want to say thank you to all you guys that have helped me in the past. You know, uh, I don't know what I would have done without you guys a couple of times, you know. Um, again, Harriet gets upset when she reads some of these shitty comments. Oh, look, he's all fucked up. Oh, look, he's loaded. The bottom line is it's none of your fucking business what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm not coming out here shoving N.A. down your throat or something, so... I'd appreciate it if you don't like the channel, don't watch the channel, you know what I mean? If you enjoy our company, then please stick around, man. I consider you friends and you've really helped me out. So, you know, my dog is getting ready to be two and he can't breathe, man. Like, he's a long hair Frenchie and he just, it's a rough thing. You know, I'm trying to get his surgery. I have insurance on him, but, uh, I just don't have the money to cover it first, you know, which sucks. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I'm just stressing out over my dog, I guess. But, um, you know, I'm going to show you guys a picture of him. He's so cute, man. Monster's such a bomb dog. I don't know if you can see him. He's a miniature long hair Frenchie. His name is Monster. Um, yeah, it's so hot out there, you guys, that he just really can't breathe, man. You know, like... He'll run from shade spot to shade spot. Um, I don't know. He's adorable. He just makes my heart, you know, swell with pride when I see him out there. Uh, he's so ugly. You can't even really see him. He looks like a gremlin, doesn't he? You know? Um, yeah, I don't know what I'd do without my boy. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so Sandman's supposed to be coming down. We were going to try and catch a concert in Florida, but priority is my dog. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's really Harriet's dog. It's our dog. We share it. Um, I'm the stepdaddy, you know what I mean? So, and her and I parted, and we're still dear friends. I don't know what I would do without her, you know? I don't know if you guys remember... <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know if you remember Loki. You know, he was such a great little dog. Linda Ronstadt's uh, daughter has him. So he was so cute, man. He's going to start barking and going crazy. Anyway, uh, Sandman wants to do, like, we're going to do an interview. And I got to check and see if I can interview with the person that he's talking about. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be okay or not. So... I will get back to you and let you know. Um, look at these barking. <laughs> Good boy. Say hi, Loki. Hi, Jack. All right. <laughs> so cute, huh? You know, we all need someone to love us in our life, you know what I mean? And, yeah, I mean, even I need someone to love me, you know? And apparently I don't do very well in relationships, but... You know, fortunately, we remain friends, and I, I never want to give that up. So, um, yeah, all I got is you guys, Sandman, um, my friend Tim, who's doing life. Uh, you know, Harriet's one of my dearest friends. Um, yeah, anyway, now they're telling me that the housing funding that I was looking forward to getting... Uh, there's no longer any money. They stole it all from the homeless. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Stealing from the homeless is a business, man, for sure. The, all the food cards, they're eligible to cash those in. They're as good as cash at any grocery store. You turn it in, $50, you get $40. They've stolen millions of dollars worth. We're supposed to get uh, two a week. I've not received one. Um, yeah, it's just crazy, man. I was thinking about start interviewing people and finding out how they became homeless, you know, and see there's a story behind everybody, you know. Um, there's a couple of guys here that were millionaires, man, and now they're living on the streets, you know. It's crazy. Money doesn't cause, solve everything, you know. Uh, sometimes sharing it is very beneficial for the heart. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know what's going on with me. I don't even know what's going on with me, you know what I mean? But, uh, and let you know, man, if you don't like my show, don't watch it, you guys. You don't have to sit there and put shitty comments, you know? It's not appreciated. Um, yeah, that's about all I could say on that. So, you guys, 
Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the loyal fans that have kicked it with me, man. I really do appreciate you. Go over to Cinemills TV and catch me over there. Uh, he does a top shelf job on all of his films. So I would really appreciate it if you guys went and checked him out. And let's not forget Big Herc, you know. And there's also my boy West Coast uh, Spiders. You know, he has, man, he's got millions of viewers. He's a, a young friend of mine who's, it's one of Chris's dad, Chris Morales. You guys have seen him on my videos. Um, it's his son and he's blown up, man. He bought a new car, did all this and that already. You know, it's, he doesn't kick it with the family anymore. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Anyway, He's a good kid, you know what I mean? Chris Morales is a wonderful father. I spent some time with him this weekend. We went to the uh, indoor swap meet and is teaching his daughters to drive. Whoo, that was hectic for all of us sitting in there. You know what I mean? She's 18 and it was her first time of practicing driving. And oh my God, my butthole was on clench. So you guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the homeless interviews. You know what I mean? I think that would be pretty cool catching the backstory of how people became homeless. You know, mine was I went to jail, you know? Anyway, uh, backing up a friend, you know what I mean? I didn't do anything. I didn't have no damn gun when I went down there. It's crazy. Anyway, I gotta get signed up for anger management classes and still go get, start getting my community service done too or I'm really gonna be in trouble. So, thank you guys, really, thank you. Heavy hitters, make it happen!